how do you teach how do you test students um you know in this in 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 this in these years where you know they can um when they, where there's a lot more ai getting used i mean because you know one can imagine a similar um scenario in probably the 70s when the widespread use of calculators came in you know before that it was a log book or slide rule or something like that so i mean how do you test how would you say that you test students i mean do you do you do you, do you, do you just let them loose or do you please the use of ai it's, it's, it's interesting because I, I grew up through that period where we didn't use calculators. There was this book that you used, I think it was blue in color for yes. square roots and stuff like yeah. that. And when calculators came on board, everyone thought, well, people are, not go people are going to stop thinking because now they'll just use a calculator and everything will be easy. Mm. But I think when you, and it's the same concept now. Now there's AI, everyone thinks, well, someone is just going to ask AI to how do I do this? And then your your your, your own cognitive uh, capacity is not tested. That, that's that, that's 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 the thinking out there. And I'm not going to I'm not I'm not talking as an expert, but if you think of it, I think there has been more complexity also as things as these tools became available. If a, if a calculator became available, there was more complexity. It wasn't just something to just to do a, a addition, subtraction, you had functions and other things on a calculator. But then the question is, you need to have your cognitive understanding of what you are doing. Because you can, you can get a calculator, but you can still fail your, your maths exam just because your cognitive level of understanding what you're supposed to be doing with the calculator doesn't exist. Mm. And it's the same with AI. 